Hey guys, Matt at Most Performance. Today I'm going to show you how to remove your mechanical clutch fan and install an electric fan on your 4th gen Hemi Ram. Uh, this truck has a Vera Ram intake, so I need to remove that first. This Vera Ram comes off very easy. take out of the way you can see you have a mechanical clutch fan right here and it's going to spin on the water pump pulley but to get this off we have to break this nut loose right here at the base of the fan now if you just try to spin that nut the water pump pulley is going to spin with it so what I've done is taken a piece of flat bar you can see here and I've drilled two holes in it run a couple of bolts through there you're going to put those bolts through the holes in the water pump pulley. You see here there's a couple of holes in the pulley there. You're going to put the bolts through that to hold that pulley in place while you break the fan nut loose. I like to use a big crescent wrench. Just put a big crescent on the nut and then you're just going to use a hammer to hit that crescent to break the nut loose. So let me set this down and see if we can get this off real fast. Alright, so first we're going to go ahead and put the bolts through the holes in the pulley to hold it in place. Once that's done, you set your crescent wrench on the fan nut bolt. Let's see here, a little bit too big. Okay, and now we're going to hit that with a hammer. And once we hit this, it should break loose fairly easy. There it goes. Once it breaks loose, you can basically just spin this by hand. You can see that nut starting to break off as it spins. Now, we are going to have to go under the truck. You can see that this shroud right here keeps the fan in place. I'm trying to loosen this with one hand. You got a couple clips right there. Here we go. Get that out of the way. <clears throat> this little plastic sh shroud here, you're going to pull the clips off of that. Pull that one as well. Okay. And now we're going to take that fan off. Be careful that you don't let it fall in your face like I just did. <laughs> So here's your stock fan right there. Get a piece of the shroud out of the way. So now you can see that you do have an electric AC fan here from the factory. Uh, there's nothing wrong with running that, but the V6 model fan is larger. So I like to use the V6 fan instead. Let me set this down and we're going to go ahead and pull the shroud off. You need to loosen this clip here that attaches your upper radiator hose. And then there's two 13 millimeter bolts, one on each side. You can see there's one here. And then there's one here on the other side. So we're going to go ahead and break those two loose real fast. tougher to do this with one hand and keep it steady.
All right. Let me set this down and now we're just going to pull that shroud up and out. It's kind of a tight fit, so... Oh, and I forgot one thing. You have the fan, your electric fan plug right here. We do need to unplug that as well. Okay, so that's unplugged now. Now you can pull the shroud out of the way. Look at how much more space you've got now with that factory fan shroud going. Much easier to work on the engine bay now. So the next step is going to be to remove this factory AC fan. There's going to be two of these metal clips. One on the top and there's another one down on the bottom. So we need to bust those two loose real fast. Once you remove those two metal clips on the top and bottom of the fan, you're then ready to remove this whole fan assembly. So there's a little locking tab here. You can see you can push that in. When you push in, just lift up on the fan and it comes right out. Just like that. Now I'm going to set the camera down and we'll pull the other one out. Once those two clips are released, the fan comes out very easy. The new fan is going to go back in the same way the old one came out. So I'm going to set this up and we'll get that taken care of. new fan is in so now we need to plug in our connector okay that's good I'm just gonna zip tie this up in a second once I get everything secured take your 13 millimeter bolt and you can see where it's gonna bolt right back in place where the factory shroud used to be Same bolt on the other side. And then now you're going to take your upper radiator hose, clip it back in place right here on the supplied bracket, and your fan is completely installed and done. I'm just going to put the Veriram intake back on it, but otherwise this install is complete. Now once you get your fan on, you do need to have a tuner to be able to control what temperature this fan turns on and off at. So if, if you, can, you can adjust those settings yourself on the tuner, or if you have a custom tuner, just reach out to them and ask them to do it for you. But it's a very easy install and uh, cheap as well, which is always a plus. Thanks guys.